everybody. Okay, so I usually don't do readings so close together because, um, you know, the, I get bad migraines and stuff. So, but I was inspired by my friend Mystical Magpie. And she did a waterfall spread for connecting to source, connecting with source. And I usually don't do spreads, but I was very pleasantly surprised by the last spread that I did, um, the compass spread. So I really like the idea of waterfalls because I love water. Um, waterfalls been, have been coming through um, for a little while now. So it reminds me of the TLC song, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls. So drink plenty of water this time it's only it's a uh, it's a nine card spread so we're gonna see how this works so everything's been pre-shuffled but I'll just do a quick okay so it's a waterfall spread <clears throat> we're gonna do two cards three four five Six, seven, eight, nine. It's coming down the waterfall. And I'll, I'll talk about what each level means in this waterfall. So once again, we're using uh, Angels and Ancestors by Kyle Gray. I just love the artwork. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love the messages that come through. Very strong uh, ancestral. So before I begin... Um, so I have a... Um, a little affirmation I'm going to say that comes with these cards, and it's um, Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother in the Earth, Father in the Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Ones, I call on you and welcome you here now. I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lesson learned from this tool would be dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. So I ask for messages of the highest good for the collective. So here we go. Let's begin. Okie dokie pokies. Um, let me make sure that, um, I think it's visible. I'm going to have to move some of my crystals out of the way. Yes. Put them off to the side. <laughs> it never comes out the way I want it to. Whoops. Okay, that'll have to do. <sighs> okay, so the first one and two is our, the potential, our potential. Uh, and what is potential? It's all the things that we're, po that we're able, that are possible, that we are able to do, our potential. Um, you know what, I actually want to give you the actual <laughs> definition of potential, so you really, so you get it really, get a good handle on what exactly it is. Having or showing the capacity to become or develop into something in the future, so, um, if you were connected to source, you know, what is possible if you had the ultimate better connection with source? What is your potential? So that's going to be one and two. So, wow. That's beautiful. That is absolutely lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to just go with the rest of them. Actually, no, I'm going to read these first. Um, so, what is possible with a better connection to source is joy and light. That's what's possible. Um, you know, and he, I'm seeing a straight arrow here, hitting the mark, hitting the target. Um, and, but this is, you know, it says surround yourself with protective energy. But I see in the imagery, you know, up look up you know with a better connection to source you're always looking up you're always basking in joy um because 
the best way to connect with source is with, through gratitude, um, through being joyful. And um, that's what I'm seeing. And, you know, bees, let me read this. We're still learning this deck, but um, I'm getting a, a lot of messages coming through for the bee. And it's almost giving me a little bit of a headache for some reason. This has been a, an issue for me this past. I got to like do some, clear out some crown stuff in my Reiki, in my next Reiki. But what I'm seeing is, you know, the bee is the worker bee. They work together to protect the queen. So I'm not, I'm not seeing you as the bee. I'm seeing you as the queen, the queen bee. The universe works in, conspires in your favor. You are divinely protected like that queen honey bee. Right? So when you're connected to source, you are divinely protected and guided. The universe works for you. And you get to bask in joy and light like the queen does. The queen just gets to sit around and be the queen. While everyone works around her to keep the hive going because she is responsible for for the lineage so the queen is without her the, the lineage doesn't keep going so she needs to be safe and i'm seeing summer so i'm seeing like an amazing summer is what i'm seeing but i'm, I'm seeing this is north actually i'm gonna do something real quick that i'm guided to do and guess what time it is, guys? 4.32. The heart chakra frequency. I've been getting a lot of heart energy opening up in the collective. So, like, uh, something's been going on with the collective that um, the heart's opening up. It's causing them to experience a profound love for animals and themselves and others. So I was saying I was seeing this going north, right? And it's actually pointing 22 degrees, 23. Let's, let me line it up right. 22, is that right? 23, no, 22. Yeah, it's pointing that way. 22 degrees northeast. Whatever that means to you. But 22 is the master builder number. The, the magic manifester. So with a better connection to source is what I'm seeing is that you are easily able to manifest. Once you have that connection to source, it's easy to manifest what you want to do and build what you want to build. Build your dreams. It's the number four, the master builder, 22. The B... That's the worker bee, the number four. So that's a beautiful synchronicity that the arrow is pointing exactly where it needs. Everything's divinely pointing. Everything's divinely, divinely exactly where it should be. <laughs> divinely positioned. Okay? Everything's divinely positioned. So with a better connection to source, you are divinely protected, divinely guided, master builder. You, you create your reality. You manifest easily. Um, you can see everything. It's like tapping into the Akashic Records. You know a lot of things. You, you know things. You see things. Um, it's a precognition as well. You know, seeing things before they come. Um, even if it's just for a slight bit. It's almost like a glitch in the matrix in a way where you're like, you just saw that and it just happens. So... I just want to read what Summer says. This is probably going to be another long reading like my last one. <laughs> so pardon me. Here it is. So rise up, open your wings and shine. So bring projects and plans out into the light, into manifestation. Whoa, what was I just saying, guys? Summer has always been recognized as a time for joy, for going on adventures and making memories. Flowers are in full bloom. Animals are enjoying the freedom of wild summer days and nights. So if you, with a better connection to source, you're going to have an enjoyable summer. You're going to be basking in that, that energy, that light. 
This is a perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. So you're being divinely guided and protected. The right people are coming into your life that are pointing you in the directions that you need to go, whether it's through support or through a message in their communication or just their presence uh, inspires you to move a certain way. Um, I'm reminded of that song by Katie Tunstall, Suddenly I See. Um, I used to sing that back when that song first came out. You know, when was that? 2006 or something? I don't know the exact year. But I used to sing that, and I, the lyrics, I would say, oh, I wish I could be like that girl that she's singing about. And that's what I trans... Well, I mean, I guess I always was that person. I just couldn't see it. Suddenly I see that I have always been that person. I just needed to love myself enough to acknowledge that aspect of myself. So, yeah, when summer card arrives in, in this position of a spread, you know, it indicates a summer amazing energies are coming through for the summer everything's on point hit the target and i've been seeing a lot of archery stuff like hitting a target that's another thing that's been coming through like just seeing somebody and they're hitting an, a target like everything is divinely on point everything's hitting the target don't you worry don't you worry about a thing <laughs> this also looks like a drum like a drum circle right um Energies pointing down. These little arrows are pointing down. It's like balance. Anyways, surround yourself with positive people and experience in environments that make you feel safe. So call on your angels, guides, and ancestors to bring you protection. I love that. I love that that came through. Um, because this is talking about basking in the joy and coming together with friends, you know. Maybe come together with like-minded people this summer. It's time to make this summer amazing. This is going to be an amazing summer. I, I see it coming. I see it coming. Um, soul families connecting. Finding your people, your tribe. And um, clarity. So, you know, it says uh, sometimes uh, you feel that Everything is, is not as clear as it seems. It's saying to trust your intuition. So when you're connecting to source, you're, at, you're immediately trusting. Um, because you can see what is, right, what, is, what is good for you and what, you know, what path is, is going to lead you to the path that you need to be. Um, it's like a game. I've, always, I've said this before. It's like a video game. You choose the obstacles in the road and how difficult you want to make it for yourself because... The more difficult you make it for yourself, the bigger the high five you get when you pass the level, right? So, and I, you know, another thing I was getting today was a lot of, I kept getting a song by Green, it's called Green Eyes by Coldplay, um, you know, which for a normal person, they just see it as a song about somebody with green eyes. But I see it as, because I was also getting um, the monster from Monsters, Inc., green-eyed monster so there's a lot of jealousy with people in what you're doing because they want that they want to do that as well and we don't want to worry about those we want to worry about the ones that we inspire you know there's a difference between jealousy wanting to be like somebody and inspiration because you're inspired by somebody whereas inspiration comes from a high vibration jealousy comes from a very low vibration so don't worry about the low vibration you are not at that level. Don't worry about it. So just focus on looking up. Focus on north. Looking up. So, okay. I think I spent a lot of time on that one, but I just I just got I just was guided to. And whatever, whatever, I do what I want. And this also talks about retreating, taking time to retreat. Um, so vacation, vacation in the summer, take a trip. Okay. So moving on and I took, <laughs> I wonder how long that was, but whatever. I'm not going to focus on time. We're just going to focus on doing and going because time does not exist. It's a man-made concept. Okay. So the past, how has the connection been in the past? Okay, so this is number three. How has the connection been in the past? 
a lot of reaping, a lot of planting seeds. That's how the connection was. That's what I'm seeing. Sorry if this thing is in the way. Just can't get it to get out of the way. There we go. Um, so how has the connection been in the past with source? Enjoy growth, reap rewards. So in the past, you were, you were working on connecting with source. You were working on it. And you're now reaping the rewards of what you had sown in the past. So, you know, you plant a seed. Uh, I planted this seed when I began meditating back in 2000, 99, 2000. Actually, no, probably when I was 15, my first LSD trip. Um, I was already expanding my consciousness and awareness when I was 15. Uh, and a lot of people were. A lot of people were, you know, doing. And, and I would say that, um, you know, those type of, uh, I don't call them recreational drugs, you know, like mushrooms and stuff like that. Um, I call it soul work because you really have to go dive deep inward when you take those drugs. You really go into the depths of your subconscious mind. And there's a lot of demons in there. And it's very scary. So I think a lot of you guys have planted seeds at a very young age, whether it was through witchcraft um, just n not necessarily, you know, uh, the black magic stuff, but uh, being able to cast spells and do things and manifest things in that way. That's connection to source, being able to manifest, casting these spells and having a belief that they are are going to come to fruition, that you are be going to bear this fruit, this delicious fruit that she has. And I love that she's got the, the star, the Wiccan star. <clears throat> so that's where the, the past was. The connection from the past was coming from a very... Um, magical place, very connected to earth, using and harnessing the energies of earth to create. So I just want to see what lady's got to say about things. I, I've, this She's popped up. I don't know if you guys have been watching my readings, but she's popped up in my personals and my, the ones here, pretty much every freaking reading she's, she's been there. The lady's been there. So I'm seeing that the lady could also be a spirit guide of somebody. The lady's in, been there since you were a child and, and lifetimes before that. And look, at she's got one of those sassy armbands like from the 90s. <laughs> so, you know, you've grown and expanded since that, since your connection from the past. It's grown and expanded in such a way. Um, it's Your heart has opened a lot since then. And that... That heart opening is the portal. That is the portal that you need to get through to get to source. Because you can, you know, everything has to come through. The higher energy has to come through the heart. The lower energy has to come through the heart. And that's where they meet, like the figure eight. Right? It meets right in the center. And it's the hub. If the, you know, it's like the center of traffic. If, if there's a blockage in the heart, the energy, the energy gets trapped. So it'll get trapped in... You know, whether that's your throat, your third eye, where you're, you know, you're overly, it, it'll get trapped in your throat where you're overly, you, your heart's closed. So it's trapped in your throat. So you're overly talking about others, judgments, um, being tactless. Um, but once you start opening your heart, then now we can get that blue and turqu and green energy together and create that beautiful turquoise color and, and that water and it's fluid and you're able to communicate in a more heartfelt manner, um, you know, come from more of a heart space. So the heart is very important. So you've worked on your heart. That's what I'm seeing here, the past. It took a lot of heart healing to get you because the heart closed immediately closes your connection to source. So opening that heart was you planting the seed, having compassion for others and their plights and wanting to help others that's that was the seed that's planted and now you are doing that and you are going to reap the rewards um, and however way you've been doing this okay the connection how are you currently connected now number four how are you currently connected now oh wait let me get to, let me just finish something um Mm, no, I thought I thought I got something, but it was the compassion, all the green, the compassion, open heart, and the red, the passion. 
and not being afraid. You bit, you know, the apple is knowledge. And we were always taught to fear. You know, Eve bit the apple. You, it was letting go of fear. Letting go of fear and having compassion for others and open your heart is what, how the connection began. Okay, so moving on. Moving on to number four. How are you currently connected? Hold the space. Hold the space. Holy cow. So immediately I'm seeing this beautiful crystal right there. It's a, you know, it looks like a, a quartz crystal. It almost looks like a diamond. I can't, I don't know if you could see that. There we go. But it almost looks like a diamond and, you know, that's the crown chakra. So how are you currently connected? You are, this is the crown chakra. You are currently connected. You are divinely protected. These two match to me. They got the same feather. And he's got, and it, it's actually, it looks like a Mayan symbol. Um, I have my book right here. It's actually, oops. You see this book? He's got that, he's almost got that little symbol on his arm. Uh, but I see it as um, the, the Kundalini. So the Kundalini, the energy has risen through the heart. Finally, it's gotten through the root because I'm seeing red. So in the past, it was coming up. Now it's at the heart and now it's at the crown and you are opening up to your connection and oneness with everything and you are realizing just how connected to everything you really are. You're like, holy smokes, I didn't realize. It's magical, how magical it is. I'm seeing him like Gandalf or like um, um, Dumbledore, you know, just this magician who who now he knows he knows um but the druid it's interesting because it's like the celtic inform the celtic knowledge um and lots of green again so we've got the white which is purity which is source connection so you know this is the the long i'm seeing these long dreadlocks right he's 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 grown this hair and that hair is like a um I've talked about it before, um, intuition, you know, the neuron, neurons and pathways that connect to the hair and, um, but yeah, um, not saying don't ever cut your hair, but this is just, you know, one of those little things. And, um, when you cut your hair, it gives you fresh energy, a fresh connection. So he's holding on to like years and years and years, like the cash, he's like Akashic records here. But just because we cut our hair doesn't mean it cuts our connection. It just means we're allowing fresh energy now. Like we were able to let that go and now we're allowing fresh energy. But um, so let me see what Druid has to say about things. And I, it's interesting how like they're not numbered. Sorry if it takes so long, but since they're not in alphabetical order or numbered, I got to just find it. Oh, of course, it's the number one. <laughs> so, how are you currently connected? You know, you're standing strong. You are. You know where you're supposed to be. Um, the Druids are the ancient wise ones of the British Isles. They had a deep connection with Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. So that's that's how connected you are. You're understanding. Um, they were the scholars who created the Ogham tree language, and they were known for their creative skills and storytelling, poetry and craftsmanship. So that's where your connection right now. You're able to, if you're a reader, you're able to tell a story by reading the cards. You're able to create poetry. You're able to create, draw things, um, artistic endeavors. You know, that's your current connection right now. You're, you're currently connected to source. And what is source? Divine source. You pull these divine inspiration, these divine ideas. You pull them down from source and you you follow through on them to, to create action, to create them into reality. So it's like you're, you're manifesting it, right? You got the idea and now you pulled it down and now you make it a reality. And, it, you know, this card is like the connection is, you know, you don't have to do anything drastic because source is guiding you. You're divinely guided. If, if it wanted something drastic to happen, it would make it happen. You know, it's just saying go with the flow. When you do drastic things, it doesn't allow flow. You're trying to control you're forcing. And so this is saying don't force things. Let everything just gradually flow. And your life will be a reflection of this. 
um, then it'll start to flow. Everything will just start to flow if you just let go. It's like, oh, everything's just starting to flow through me. Whatever I manif- I'm manifesting, this is how manifesting happens. By wanting it and then just letting go of the outcome of how it's going to happen. Yes, sometimes we do have to make forward movement. You know, if we want a project done, let's say I want a website. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to go online and do the website and, you know, hope that my name's available. And then from there, everything starts coming together. Like all of a sudden I decide that I want the website and now somebody has offered me to do my website for me and then blah, blah, blah. And things start to snowball. Things start coming to you when you make the decision, right? So it's all about making choices. What exactly do you want? Create a dream board. Okay. That was great. So I'm like, that was great. And, you know, the staff is always the all-knowing staff of wisdom and knowledge. So that's, you are connected to it. This is it. You are connected. If you didn't think you were connected, you were watching this reading, you are connected. It's all about having faith in your connection and trusting the connection, okay? I feel like she should go right there. No. Yeah, she should go there. No, she should go over here. Mother Mary, I love her. She always reminds me of the heart guardian card. You know, just beautiful with the sacred heart. Anywho, moving on to number five, the future. And I don't like to say future. Uh, I like to say the highest good because everything is now. It's about tapping into it. There's no past, present, or future. Everything just is now. So what is your highest self? What is your highest potential? So where is this connection to source that we currently are, which I don't think it could get any better than the druid. That's the first card. That's the ultimate connection here. Um, But where's the connection heading? Where's this connection to source leading us? Ah, I love this. The wolf. I always see this as like a wolf or husky um, winter. I like that it's summer and winter. It reminds me of the Alien Ant Farm song, Summer. Try to give you summer, but I'm winter. Um, I love this. Snowflakes have been coming up a lot in my stuff. I don't know if that's because Game of Thrones has been everywhere and like I tap into the collective. So whatever's on the collective's mind, I somehow tend to see. But I'm seeing a lot of snowflakes. And what is a snowflake? We are all at our each individual snowflake with our own individual pattern. And we program ourselves, you know, the environment programs the snowflake once it hits the ground and the environment begins to program it. So when we tap into that source, it's like we're that snowflake and we get to program ourselves. So when if we stay connected to this source, the universe takes care of our needs. This has been the key. Like you, even if you're a male, you are the queen bee. You are the queen bee. You are creating your surroundings and your reality. And I just feel like ET needs to be there too. I love this. Take care of your needs. So this, the, the wolf came up in the shapeshifter, but you know, in native American cultures, it's like he, they, they are the pack, you know, they are taking care of the, the, the wolf pack leader. He stays behind at the very end. And he has, you know, his medium strength guys at the front and his weeks in the center because he takes care of them. You know, at their, at their, they, the universe always makes sure that you're taken care of. Even at your weakest moments, even at your weakest moments, you are very taken care of. It's like even when you feel that you've got nobody by your side, you are taken care of. So, winter. So whatever you have been trying to manifest by winter time, it's it is here. It is here. Trying to give you so do everything you need to be at your best. So this is mind, body, spirit. Get a little bit of exercise. If you if you hate exercise, do ten jumping jacks. That takes care of your exercise for the day. Sorry, I'm like that takes care of because that's me. Um, yeah, if I had a gym membership, yeah, I'd definitely be at the gym, you know, because I like to, like, read and walk on a treadmill. But um, I'm in a location where I can't really do that. So eventually I'll get there. So move beyond your fears and limitations because you are protected. If you didn't already know that you're divinely guided and protected, this is telling you yes. You know, this is telling you, like, I'm seeing, like, a stop sign. Stop. You are divinely protected. So for many of the animal realm, winter is a time of hibernation and retreat. So, and this was talking about retreat over here too. Take a vacation. Um, It features a wolf, one of the few animals that stay active all year round. Wolves know what it's like to work alone or thrive within a pack. So if you feel you need to go it alone at this time, 
know that wolf medicine will help you move beyond your insecurities. So yes, this is also the going with uh, leaving a situation because you're afraid that your needs will not be taken care of. But this is saying you have to move forward. You are taken care of. And the fear that you will not be taken care of is what's holding you back. So this is saying let go of that fear. If you're in a situation where you feel you're not going to be taken care of if you leave, this is saying, yes, you are. All you got, you got your friends. You can do it alone, but you got your friends. You don't have to do it alone. You've got your spirit team, your spirit guides. You've got God. You've got whatever you need to make this happen. Don't be afraid. And I love this. The, this looks like um, the lotus flower behind him. So you've gone through a tremendous amount of darkness and you finally got to this point. This is the future. This is that earth star, solar star energy. You are reprogramming yourself. You're, so I always say, whatever you're doing in this current life right now is what's going to be your next life. Uh, so whatever you're passionate about in this life now is what you're going to be like prolific at in your next life. So I, like, I see... Um, when you see kids that are born with tremendous piano abilities out of nowhere, they're just born with them, right? They're, I can bet you, and I, I'm not even going to bet you, I just know they were a piano player in their last time, in their last life. That's what they were passionate about, and they bring it into this one. So whatever you're doing right now, if you're practicing intuition, guess what? how your intuition, if you think your intuition is great now, imagine in your next life how it's going to be. Because we choose to come back. Everybody thinks, I don't ever want to come back. Uh, this is my last life. Trust me. When you, get, when you tap into this 5D energy, you understand. And you're like, oh, hell yeah, I'm coming back in the next one. And I've got these kind of plans for the next one. And this is how it is. Um, when, you tap into that five, when you tap into that source energy, you get to experience that, how you create your life in the next life. And you're like, holy cow, yeah, I get to do all this stuff. And I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. I'm practicing now. And uh, one of the things I've been wanting to do is learn how to play the harp <laughs> for some reason. So I'm still, I still have time. Um, so I, I want to definitely learn an instrument before I leave. But this was something that I, I've, I was like, oh, this is something I've always wanted to do. I've always had great intuition. So mm, I've been passionate about it. Numerology, stuff like that. You know, I was horrible at math in this life, but you know, I love numerology. So Maybe in the next life I'll be a mathematician. I don't know. We shall see what I decide. <laughs> um, enough about me. <laughs> so this, this is telling me that in the future you're going to be moving beyond your, your fears. Okay, You're going to be uh, uncovering your past lives and realizing what has been holding you back from these, you know, these, these fears that we have. So... And you're, you may feel like a lone wolf right now in the sense, but in the future, you're going to have a strong pack. And the str you're always going to be taken care of. You're always going to be taken care of. Okay, moving on. Six and seven. What are the obstacles to... They're really... I don't really see any obstacles. So what are the obstacles to the connection? So this is probably what can hold you back from source. So, what could hold you back from the connection? So, okay, I don't, for some reason, I, um, with this one, what can hold you back is limited belief systems that, of this, like, great person in the sky that's going to save you, religious type of thing. Um, I'm seeing religion here, both. That's going to hold you back. You've got to let go of, I know it's hard. Because when I had my awakening, that was my leaning crutch of safety, was going back to religion. Like, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared of what's happening to me. And oh, only God only God can save me. And guess what? Uh, I quickly realized that, that this was not existent. And look, at, it's like, you are this. You, It's you. Okay? So you need to realize. You are the all. Look at, so what's the eagle? We were just talking about eagle in the last reading. It is the all-seeing perspective, Right? Being able to see from a grand perspective. That's the father in the sky. You are the father in the sky. You are able to do this. And it's up to you to trust in the unknown, not be afraid. So fear. Fear is what will be an obstacle. Not trusting your intuition. And the knight, I always see the Templar knights with here. So once again, um, 
not being brave. So both of these dishonesty, that's going to stop you because, um, on the other side of things, there are no lies. There is no deception. Um, it's all about integrity. So lying to yourself and lying to others, um, would because there's no trust, right? The wolves have to trust each other. They have to trust each other, okay? So the obstacle is you need to be brave and you need to be honest and you need to trust in the unknown. And there is a, this great father in the sky, right? It's the same, it looks like the same guy. Um, but it is you. It is the all source of everything, the source of all things. It doesn't necessarily have to be this man, this figure of a man. You know, it could be a woman. It could be anything. I just see it source, universe, energy. Every single being on earth coming together, that is the source of all things. That is it. So let me just see what Father in the Sky has to say. I don't think I've ever pulled this card. Trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with the Great Father. Know that he is lovingly leading you forward. So, Great Father and Mother. The, the Merkaba, the left brain and the right brain. So, so, if we're going by Father, left brain, right brain, that's the connection, is being too logical. So, you got to trust. Because the Father energy is the logic follow through, the, the worker bee energy. You have to trust. Trust in both of your side. Both trust in your plan is what I'm getting. Because that, that's the the father energy is planning. The mother energy is the creativity, creating. And the father energy to me is the planning. Planting of the seed. <clears throat> right? Because the semen needs to fertilize the ovary. So, the masculine energy. So, what will hold you back is your logical thinking that, um, your lack of faith, logic, uh, overthinking things. So, and I'm also seeing father figure issues as well. So, what will hold you back is not letting go of your father father issues, whether it's fear of losing a father or f things that happened with the father in the past. Um, okay. Or baby daddy issues I'm getting. Um, that's not for everybody because not everybody has a baby daddy, but this is a general reading. So I want to make sure I touch all the bases of what I'm seeing in this card. And um, I'm also seeing this electricity, which is, um, I'm seeing the electricity as an obstacle, uh, electronics. So like things going wonky, um, being patient with it. You know, whenever you st your electronics start going crazy, uh, give a, a moment of quiet and say, I do not allow any, um, trickster energy in my area because it'll try to, it'll try to be an obstacle. It'll try to stop you from doing what you have to do. You know, the, the, some energies don't want you to ascend. Okay. And moving on tonight. So an obstacle could be, you know, a night or nighttime. Let's see what it says because immediately I'm seeing the rose, you know, but I'm seeing this armor. So I'm seeing closing your heart. Putting on this armor, this tough exterior, that can be a block. So don't put this armor on. See, he's got the cloak. He's got all this stuff, but he's like, yeah, and he's brave and he fights and he's protective, but he's got this armor, so he never lets real love in. And it's like, you don't need the armor because you're divinely protected. And you only, you only put on armor when, you are, when you're afraid of getting hurt. So take the armor off. You don't need the armor. That is saying that you don't have faith that you are taken care of. So this is saying remove the armor. No more battles, man. No more battles. No more battle between good and evil. No more. This is, this is all a, 
an illusion. To scare you. To keep you off your path. Okay? And I'm seeing... Uh, so in the last reading, I saw two mirrors. Now I'm seeing two flowers. And I saw the flower over here. Flower petals. Petals. These look like daisies. Um, I'm seeing it mirrored. So this is twin flame stuff. Um, something that the, what you're overcoming is... For some of you, not everybody, but the twin flame stuff is um, mirroring. You are going to, you're going through these obstacles. You have to have faith that you're going to be together. Because you have been doubting that. So it's the same trust. Trusting what you already know. Like, you keep denying certain connections. And this is saying, nope. It's exactly who it is. It's exactly the energy you've been receiving. If you've been receiving. Just look in the mirror. And you will know. Because uh, I see the flower. The flower is always the twin flame message. Okay. So moving on to the solution of these obstacles. Here we go. Oh, of course. The Reiki master. Shaolin master. Oh my God. I was just, I said I needed to bring her and I was going to put her over here. But for some reason, I moved her over here. So now we've got her on both sides. This is beautiful. So the solution to the obstacle is always love. And this is peace. This is uh, going inward, silence, meditation. So the solution to any of these obstacles is to go inward and go tap into your love energy. So I know we talked about this card yesterday, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move to to the Shaolin master. I always, I always think of the Wu-Tang, but balance. So solution to these obstacles of unknown, trust in the unknown and, and your bravery and honesty is to, tr is to balance mind, body, and spirit. This dragon energy. You are fierce. But peace as well. And creativity. I'm seeing that orange color again that I was seeing um, in yesterday's reading. And uh, draw something. I was seeing that up here as well. Draw. And look at there's the roses. So the uh, solution to the obstacle of trusting the unknown is meditation. And the solution to your twin flame obstacle is love. Just coming from a space of love and self-love and loving yourself and letting yourself be loved. You have to let yourself be loved in order for this to come in. You have to love yourself in order for this to come in. You have to believe in yourself in order for this to come in. You have to be still and balanced in order for this to come in. That's just what I'm getting. But remember we were just talking about the long hair and how you don't have to have the long hair to, it's like, look at that. He goes directly from extremely long to uh, completely buzz cut, buzzed. And if you know the story about the Shaolin monks and some of the monks in uh, Tibet, they manifest with ease uh, by stillness. So meditating helps you to manifest things because you are able to quiet your mind uh, and release things in the chatter of the mind uh, to allow information to come through that allows you to connect to your source. So it, it kind of uh, adjusts your frequency. So what meditation is, is like tuning is tune in a radio station and you want to tune into the right frequency and that'll align you to the people that are in the same frequency as you. So the stillness, anytime I, always, I see the little... Um, praying mantis it's always stillness and gratitude you know what is it the little guy he's always doing this and that's gratitude so being grateful uh solution to the obstacle of the unknown and all this stuff is frankie is to be grateful practice uh, meditation practice gratitude practice stillness and whatever stillness you can do yoga you can draw because that that quiets your mind and you're just even if it's just like uh, automatic writing just moving your hands Movement, Tai Chi. Okay, so. Um, yeah, and so the heart guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. And I was talking about, you know, bronze, the bronze heart. And what do you do when you, when you have a prized possession? You know, like how they bronze the little baby shoes because it's like, oh, it's the greatest thing. You put them, dip them in bronze. Uh, you save them. As, this is like the heart. It's like, it's so precious. It needs to be bronzed. It's like the sacred heart. 
it's fiery and it's passionate and she's got the rose too and look at they're both they both got the rose on the right side of there it's beautiful and she's an angel you know she's the heart guardian you got call upon your angels anytime you have a, a solution to you if you need a solution you call upon your team if you have a twin flame call upon your twin flame but she's cloaked in love She's got the ring. And she's like, more power. She's got more power because she knows that love is the most powerful force in the universe. So, yeah. So that's the solution to the obstacles. You know, whenever things start getting you down, whenever you start doubting your abilities, you start doubting, center yourself, come from a space of love. When people are testing you and you, you want to fight, you know, the night is all fighting. Um, that's the obstacle, fighting with others because, you know... The, you just can't once you start awakening and you start seeing the truth behind things you see how ridiculous people are it's like oh they just want to fight um so saying come from a space of love and compassion and understanding so i just want to read a little bit of shaolin master just because i like i like it slow and steady breathe and flow so breathing as well um the oxygen of deep mindful breathing um it regenerates cells in your body so mindful breathing it helps um the pineal gland it helps the crown it helps all the energy move up so always breathe from your root all the way up to the top of your head and it's the ninja they're you know he's fast he can do things he can manifest things quickly you know with the right movements uh so and this is reiki work as well so reiki could help you uh if you have any obstacles and blockages, Reiki can help you. So it, you know, Shaolin medicine is about learning to adapt to a situation and tap into the energy running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right moment. It also teaches subtlety because when you are too forceful, I was just talking about that. Don't force things. You use too much energy and that may not be supportive of what you are working on. The Shaolin master, like a monk, has respect for all things. He is disciplined and guided by his art and will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than someone who is threatening him. You too are being invited to remain graceful in your movement, choices, and actions. Yes. Ah, oh, that's exactly what I was just, I was saying yesterday in, in the last reading is like, you know, some people, they begin this journey of awakening their psychic abilities because they want to feel like they're better than somebody else. Look what I can do. It's almost like a magic trick. Like, look at me, I'm the magician and I can do, 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 do and you can't do it. It's to say, no, you got to be, this is like a gift and this is gratitude and you are grateful and, and you are no better than anybody. You are, everybody is the same little snowflake coming down from the clouds. And, you know, we're all just programmed differently. You know, some ha are working on a lot more stuff in this life than, you know, others. And some have less karma to work through, you know. So it's, it says you are being guided to flow like water, blow like air, and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel you need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Move with subtlety and grace. So I, like I was saying, go with the flow. Yeah, don't push against things. Refocus, gaze. Breathe. Love that. Ah. Oh, Lordy. That was, that was just beautiful. Open right up to Heart Guardian. Welcome with open arms. Opportunities to give and receive love. The Heart Guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships. So, she is going to get you here. Opening your heart. How we were talking about that openness, that's always going to put you through the obstacles. I love that. You know, coming up with creative solutions, that's going to come up, you know, loopholes. I was talking about loopholes yesterday. Coming up with loopholes, creative ideas, ways to overcome things, you know. Um, when you're playing a video game, you find a way to get past an, a certain level, you know. So... Yeah, and um, she enables you to move beyond fears. So yeah, the, the fears of, over here. Um, and she's cloaked in the red in the sacred heart. Uh, shows her capacity to let love lead the way. So 
the energy of love is surrounding you at this, uh, and and your world this whole time. So angels are swirling around you. They're encouraging you to open up your heart, reveal the blessings that you have to offer. You're a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you're finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You're also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Yes, so that's another big part of this whole process is learning to accept. Learning to receive from the universe. Letting go of control of how you're going to receive it. Being okay for ask, asking for help because, the, you know, that's how the wolves work. Tapping into that wolf energy. The wolf energy came through in the last reading as well. So don't try to do, to do everything on your own. If you're working on a relationship or a new relationship, this card can usher in new energies that allow you to forge powerful connections with your partner. Love is in the air. Yes. A lot of electricity happening. A lot of, you know, flowers in bloom, which is relationships in bloom. And that can be, it doesn't necessarily mean love relationships. It can be friendships. It can be, you know, soul connections, um, opportunities, business. So... You are divinely protected. And I've been seeing crosses a lot, like, you know, like plus signs. Uh, love always adds, it never subtracts. So the more love you add into your life, the more it adds into your life. So let go of the fear, you know. He's got, you know, the, the chalice, the holy grail is right there. He's protecting it. Just like the the queen bee, the bees. So these two are very similar. The queen bee protects its... Uh, uh, the bees protect its uh, queen because she is the holy grail. And the knight protects the queen because she's the holy grail. So you are divinely protected. You are the queen. Even if you're a male, you are the queen in the sense that you have that manifestation creative energy. So I love that those were in the, the eagle came through yesterday. I talked about that as well. Don't fear being the eagle. I know I feared this energy because of what I've learned about how, you know, they pluck their own feathers and stuff. And I was like, oh, I've gone through enough pain, physical pain in this life that I don't think I want to be an eagle. But now I see it differently. Like everything is a purpose and a reason. Every pain has a purpose and a reason. So work on, you know, you work some crystals. I'm, I'm seeing. So this was a, the, how are you currently connected? The crystals are a great way. You're, you know, you're, you're using your crystals, you're chiming in, you're using your, your abilities, love. Great reading, guys. Well, I hope it resonated. Um, hope you enjoy, and thank you so much once again for coming on this journey as I'm continuing to learn these cards. I'm really having a great time with these cards. I wish m different cards would pop up, because <laughs> it seems the same cards are popping up, but I am grateful for the new cards that popped up. This Father in the Sky was a great one. Uh, the Winter was a great one. So I love Shaolin Master. Like the Rizza said from the Wu-Tang. I will leave you with a Wu-Tang quote. The Rizza said, Some things are not visible until you are truly ready to see them. So think about that when you are not seeing things. Because you're not ready to see them yet. So you always have to be ready. And, you know, that dragon energy is moving up. That kundalini energy is moving up. You are mirroring your highest self. You're, you're doing the things. You are embodying your highest potential right now. You just have the two little obstacles is letting go of the fear and trusting that everything's going to be okay. So trust. Be brave and honest. Trust in the unknown. Be brave and honest. Okay? Be graceful in movement and action. Love and let yourself be loved. I, I feel like I should put that right there. And that's that, guys. Okay. That's it. Now, that's the real goodbye. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. So much love to you and gratitude. And thank you always, always for the support. I The supportive comments, I just get blown away sometimes. And I really don't know how this is going to resonate with people. Um, so I'm always pleasantly surprised. So thank you so much. Once again, guys, I am grateful. Namaste, everybody.